Okay, I'm going to try to remember what I did here. So this one, the short one, is the one that I put the queen into from another hive over here to make it queenless. So that another hive, it's actually the short one almost at the end, the blue one, the one with the blue top, make it queenless so that it would make some cells. This one, the one with four and all the bearding out front, is one that swarmed, uh, boy I don't have the date right off the top of my head, and today I, I wrote it down in my notes, I, I believe that I did not see a queen nor did I see any brood yet. This one, so these three are the, I guess, uh, they're nukes. I, I don't have any nukes, so I use mediums. Uh, the blue one has a queen, two queen cells that I cut off of a plastic frame and squished onto uh, another frame and put in there with some uh, bees and brood and comb. Same thing with the red one. So both of those are ones that I cut off. The green one is is uh, has queen cells that were not cut off but just left on a frame and put in there. I, I wasn't sure how the cutting would go so I wanted to do some without cutting them loose um, because it's on plastic and I wasn't sure if I'd get the whole cell. And because I don't really know what I'm doing I figure I'd leave one alone. Alright, so this one is a swarm that I caught out of my own boxes. Uh, again, I can't remember the date. I've got it written down somewhere. I went through that box, and that's a feeder on top. I went through that box like three times today. And there's not very many bees in there, so I would think that I would have been able to find the queen, and I couldn't find the queen, nor could I find any eggs or anything like that. So it might be queenless, I don't know. This one also couldn't find a queen. Of course that doesn't mean she isn't in there, but I also could not find any um, brood. Um, eggs or brood or anything. Uh, so, except some really old brood, I think. So maybe there's a queen, uh, a, a super procedure queen that hasn't started laying yet that I just didn't see. Um, this is the one that originally was a four stack that I made queenless so that I could get the uh, the queen cells, uh, the emergency queen cells, and I believe this one has the best frame with like, I don't know, like six or seven queens. I took pictures of it, so I'll look. This one is probably my strongest hive. I've done nothing to it this year. Um, it's got a good strong queen. I didn't look at it today, but I'm assuming it's still doing good. I did take some supplies out of it to uh, supply, help supply some of these other uh, new projects. And then this is another uh, nuke box from that split up. And it's got, I believe, it actually has two queen cells in it on one frame that were that were made on that frame so I didn't cut them and stick them they're, they're whole. Uh, and then all of these nuke boxes um, and I'm sort of putting that in quotations nuke boxes I put supplies in. This one was supplies from other hives mostly from that hive. This one actually just has what was in it before uh, because it was a strong hive before I split it up and it's got what it was in it before plus uh, the queens queen cells uh, this one uh, I lost track which one has what but these all had uh, two of these were no all three of these had supplies from the original hive and then maybe a little bit added from I think this hive. Uh, so there we have it. That's uh, today's report. Um, 
kind of restack some crap over there. Um, I might put feeders on these things pretty soon, but I'm beat right now, and so I'm going to call it a day for today. And then uh, I still need to make up some syrup if, if I do put feeders on anyway. I do have a, an open container going on over here. Some old uh, sugar uh, syrup that I just threw a whole bunch of this bark in so that they don't drown. And that should keep people happy for a little while. And 